Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Kim and it is Way and Wednesday. I am overjoyed to tell you that I lost 2.4 pounds this week and I got my next five pound sticker. So I'm at my next five pound milestone and my total loss is 80.2 pounds. So that is ridiculously awesome. I worked my butt off this week. I worked so hard this week, guys. I I did everything right. I tracked all my food. I was I didn't even use all my weeklies this week. I was under every day. I worked out like crazy. We went to Zumba, you, Lori and I. We went to yoga. We, I did Cash to 5K twice. I walked. I got 10,000 steps every day. I mean, it was just like, I'm tired. I am tired today, guys. I am so tired today. And I'm just so glad that, you know, all the hard work paid off and I saw it on a scale. Because sometimes you work that hard and the scale doesn't reflect it. So I am beyond excited to be at my next five pound milestone that took me a while that took me I think over two months to lose five pounds I hit 75 sometime in April so May was uh, like some one of one of um, my viewers called it maintain May yep I pretty much maintained I was up and down June has been much better to me I got my button gear and I I definitely kicked booty this week, so I'm so excited about 80 pounds. And it's been an emotional week for me because my daughter is graduating pre-K tomorrow. And before I was a parent, I would have laughed like, oh, please, you know, pre-K, what's the big deal? But it's, it's such a big deal, you know? She's leaving her daycare she's been at for five years. She's going to kindergarten and... Yeah, it's a big deal. So I've been very emotional and I have stayed focused. Almost I feel like to the point of like obsession because that's just how it has to be or else I will I will just binge. Like I'm feeling so emotional and so like raw about it. Her, you know, it kind of symbolizes her not being a baby anymore and we don't know if we're going to ever be blessed with another baby and it's coming up on two years of trying so it's just like it's bringing up so many emotions and especially today like I've just been feeling like I want to binge so bad like I want all the fries all the cheeseburgers all the donuts and I'm just not gonna do it I am not gonna do it so my mantra this week in my head has been being overweight is hard. Being healthy is hard. Choose your hard. So I'm choosing my hard. My hard is going to be continuing to work out, continuing to eat healthy. Because let me tell you, it's like a part-time friggin' job getting all this activity in and planning your meals and eating well. Whoa, my, my AC is kind of kind of loud. I was like sweating. All right, I'll turn it off. And it's hard. It is hard. And when you're working full time and you're a mom, it is just it's just hard, okay? It is hard. So I'm just I'm just really really glad that um I'm able to keep going. I just keep talking to myself and my amazing, amazing supportive friends um, that just helped me so much. And the YouTube community, all your support keeps me going. Watching other videos keeps me going. And that is what I just keep telling myself is just keep going. So it is an awesome day, 80 pounds. I'm going to celebrate that for at least an hour. <laughs> Uh, but I'm gonna look ahead and 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 know that this is a lifetime. I want to have another great week. And um, yeah, so they gave out a free sample, Nacho Cheese Supreme. 
uh, crunchy snacks, which I've heard um, these are pretty good. I've seen a couple of people in their What I Eat videos eat those and really like those. And the topic this week at the meeting was, I don't know what, declutter your life or something to that effect. And I am totally on board with that. I like to keep a very organized and decluttered home. Um, in my old house, we, we lived in a townhouse and it was very small and it, we just, with Kylie's toys all over the place and mail would pile up on the kitchen table and I just, I could not take it. So when we moved to the new house two years ago, I said, this house is going to be organized and clean and I have kept it that way. Now, don't get me wrong. If, you know, one of us is sick or, you know, we have a lot going on, things, um, tend to pile up but for the most part if you came over my house it is clean it is organized and when I get home it's like huh, it's a breath of fresh air I feel so happy there and that is also what helps me stay focused on my journey is not having a cluttered life so um, check out I'm not really I can't really go more into that today but check out Denise from let's get fit she does a wonderful overview of the weekly every week I also found the weekly on PDF form so I'm going to put that down in the description box below so you can read that I never knew they had that in PDF form online but I found it so I want to share it with you guys and I hope everybody has a great week and stay fit and fabulous bye